hello welcome back to my studio we're going to continue working on this uh this little journal that we started and yeah i got that that pocket on the inside it looks really good i like the way that turned out so today i have gone ahead and i dyed some lace to go around the outside to cover up you know the flaws and I love this color because it looks really good with these pinks and purples and grays. And it originally started out like this. So I do have a video on how to dye lace. And if you're wanting to come up with a certain color or something like that, it's pretty easy to just kind of a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, you know, just kind of go back and forth until you get the color that you want. So right now, <coughs> I'm going to go, excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac and we're going to glue this on. So I hope everybody's having a good week. I uh, didn't get a chance to do a, a video on Wednesday or for Wednesday, but we will be doing, because I wanted to do well, I was, I've been asked to do a video on paper stain, uh, coffee staining paper, and I figure I may do that for uh, Saturday for their live feed. Because don't worry, I haven't forgot about those. And. Uh, We'll do some of that. A short one. And yeah, we'll get some because I do need some more coffee dyed paper. And why not show you how to do it? Turn this around. You can see how pretty this is going to turn out for a cover I like to do all my covers differently I don't like it to be the same way all the time so it goes, I guess boring <laughs> uh, just too boring so once I get this on here I have a little bit of an ephemera craft to do to show you It's a super easy one. And I think you guys will enjoy it. Get out of there. And the last piece. There we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna let that dry. And I shall show you what it is we are going to work on. So yeah, that looks very pretty. I like the way this is turning out already. Okay, so here's our signature. We'll put this over here to dry. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a belly band like this and this is just on one of the pages but what's interesting about this belly band is when you untie it it has a little pocket on the inside and places to write on the outside of the pocket and on the outside of the, the belly band itself you could write on that too if you wanted to or you could decorate it whatever but I love the way this turned out. So I thought I would show you how I made it. It looks like a little present on the inside. Isn't that sweet? All right, so let's get to making this. Put this to the side. Now what I used for that pocket is a piece of jelly plate. It was just jelly printed, but we don't want this white area. 
So I'm going to well, let me get the bigger uh, a bigger cutter. And I'm just going to take off this white. We've got glue all over me already. So is everybody's 2023 going the way they anticipated? <laughs> Are you keeping up with your resolutions? I heard that a lot of uh, journal makers will pick a word to kind of keep them on track. Instead of a, a resolution, it's more like a, a positive word that they choose. And uh, I don't normally choose resolutions at all. Because um, <laughs> I have a tendency to fail miserably. But I think if I was going to pick a word. Okay. Now I'm out of breath. I'm sorry about that, folks. I had to go and... Uh, Help put my dad in the car because dad has a doctor's appointment. Okay, so as I was saying, this is jelly plate that I did. And yeah, it's just plain white on the back. We've trimmed off all the white. And let's see. We're going to fold it as wide as we want it as a belly band for starters. I'm going to grab a bone folder. Okay. And then you're going to fold it again, like so. And then, I <laughs> know it's like, and then, and then, you're going to fold it, but you're going to bring it, you know, yes. Yeah, because we want the cover, but we want to have a piece to fold under. So. I'm going to fold it like that, and we're going to cut it on that line. And we don't have to be fancy about it. I guess I could use a chair roller. And you can save this for collaging or whatever. And now I'm going to fold over just the edge so it's a little more robust along that edge because this is just regular copy paper that I jelly printed. And then when you have this folded over, so you can do it this way or you can bring it all the way to the edge. does not matter. But this is what you want it to look like. Okay. And now I'm going to glue this edge. I'm just going to use my craft glue. Ooh, it got all gooey. Hold on. Let me get that off of there. I need a piece of tissue. Paper towel. Paper towel. Okay, just wipe that off. There we go. Oh, nice and new. And just run a line of that up here. Fold it over. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take, uh, where'd it go? <laughs> My, uh, our glitter glue. Get it open and flowing because, you know, it never is wanting to do that. Once I turn the camera on, of course, and I'm going to glue. Come on, we're going to glue. Yes, we are. 
to start it. That side. And that side. Fold it over. So now we have like a little pocket. And you can ink it if you choose to. Where I have my ink. I'm just, we're just going to do the front side. You don't have to do the back because that's going to be facing the page. Then is I found a page. I think we'll just go ahead and choose another page out of here because it'll go on one of the coffee dyed. Let's see. This is gonna be. Well, we can always re-glue one end, I guess. Not on that one. Is this the inside? Yeah, that's the inside. So let's put it in the back of the signature and find a decent page. That's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. With the pink background. Or we could put it on the back side of this. Nope, nope. Let's just trim off just a little bit so it'll fit on that. Or the pink. I think the pink. We're gonna do the pink. So let me just trim off one end so it fits better. Just a slur. It's like what we uh, just inked and glued. That was real smart, Rory. Just re. Oh, is it still glued? Oh, it's just barely. I need to glue it. Okay. Just make sure that it doesn't pop open on us. Oh my ink. Okay. That's better. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners of the flap. Because it makes it look pretty. Come on. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. needing a new corner rounder this gets used quite a bit and actually only one of them actually works anymore okay bring that okay so then what we want to do is I'm going to just slide this off to the side I'm going to get some ribbon. You can use string if you want to. It doesn't have to be this kind of ribbon. This is uh, what's called baby ribbon. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, but yeah, it's called baby ribbon. So if you go to a store like Joann's or something, that's what you look for because it's so thin. And I'm going to pick out a piece that's long enough. And 
flip it over. Where is my pepper tech? And glue it right across the back on a straight line, just like that. Place the center of the ribbon across that glue line. This keeps it from sliding this way. And then I'm going to take some, just a little piece of tape. Come on, there we go. And put that right over it. Now you're not going to see this again, like I said. Flip it, tie it, get up there, just clip that off because it's a little long, and then grab our paper. We want to put it in. Across the top. And across the bottom. I like making these little belly band type things because they, they serve a dual purpose, you know. And there we go. Another little belly band. Isn't that cute? I like the way the colors contrast with each other yet pick up the pink. I love that. So yeah, that is my version of a belly band. It has multi-function where we can put little things inside. You can still decorate the outside if you wanted to, but you can tuck a little a couple little cards, like tea cards, or a couple little tiny tags in there. You have space to write if you wanted to, and still room to put something underneath. And I think they're precious. And I think it looks cute too, because it looks like a, a present. Now what you could also do is you could put like a uh, wax seal here to hold it closed if you wanted to. Um, there's all sorts of ways of doing this. But there is our belly bands. Aren't they pretty? Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cool little side thing. It's super simple. And I think you'll really enjoy that too. So until then, until Saturday, I will be uh, on Saturday, we're going to make some more coffee dyed papers because that was a viewer request. Actually, really good friend request. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. And uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make some pretty coffee stained papers on Saturday on our live feed. So don't miss that. That'll be at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here. So yeah, if you're new, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and uh, ring that notification bell too and uh, i shall see you uh, next time love you bunches bye